not even the human voice has escaped the influence of computers. Thanks to automatic tuning, you no longer have to be able to sing to record a flawless song. Estelle Rubio is a singer-songwriter who teaches studio production at the Tech Music School London. Here it is. Wow. I have to say, I was expecting a bigger mixing desk than that. Well, this is the days of digital, you see. Can automatic tuning really turn a bad Testing. performer into a good one? To put it to the test, okay. we need a bad performance. Bar, bar, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One Surely that is beyond help. For the day. So what are we looking at here? We can see all the notes that I actually sang. Yes. What we tend to do is go to the nearest note that you were singing. So, bar, bar, black. Let's just see. Bar, bar, black sheep. So you're going through and you're drawing lines where you want the sound to be, where you want the pitch yes. to be. Bar, bar, black Automatic sheep. tuning literally drags off-key singing back into line. But does it just polish up something that shouldn't have been recorded in the first place? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags. So you can see now you're sounding in tune, but in a way we've lost the kind of essence the of The quality your... of the yeah. voice. You've lost the quality yeah. of the voice. Now, do you think that uh, all of this sort of editing and changing, do you think that's cheating a bit? I still think there are still great singers, but why not let everybody have a chance to make music? Music's about kind of the universal language, it's about sharing, you know, why not? Why can't everybody have a go and play around with their voice and make themselves sound better than, than they are? In studio recordings, computers are definitely here to stay. But there's one area of music that humans must be able to call their own, composition. Can computers reach anywhere near the creative heights of composers? Alexis Kirk is a research fellow of the Interdisciplinary Centre for Computer Music Research at Plymouth University. Basically, he makes computers make music. This is a system that I have. I call it Ipsys. It's a bunch of musical intelligences inside a computer um, who sing to each other. They sing each other uh, very simple tunes, but when they sing, they pick up each other's tunes. So the tunes that they have get bigger and bigger and bigger and turn into musical melodies. Starting with just a single note fed into the computer, the intelligences build up a tune together. But do artificial intelligences singing to each other actually sound any good? Alexis has a composition called Ash. So if you close your eyes, it's, it's like a four-year-old playing piano. Yes. Learning how to play piano. <laughs> yes, it's very plodding. It's very kind of precise in the rhythm. No human would play this tune this way. It might not sound like much, but to write a pleasant melody from scratch, computers have to draw on something they just don't have, feelings. Alexis had to give his algorithms emotions, but they also need another form of human behavior. As well as compose the music, the system can perform the melodies in an expressive way. So there's, there's kind of two layers to this. There's an, a layer where it produces the notes, and there's a layer where it takes those notes and it tries to express them in a, a human way. Although at the moment it hardly sets the pulse racing, the potential for computer algorithms to replace human composers is huge. <laughs> 